big right hand and knocking the opponent down in the first uh, minute of the fight. Now you got to get up, and what do you do? Well, Anna always says that she needs time to organize herself. That's right. Love to get situated, and she has not been allowed any. That big return right away, putting Justine on the back foot. And the boxing analogy is, is just right, Dick, because this one's the boxer, but she's playing someone who's punching big roundhouse swings. Uh, haymakers. And it would very much love to be able to start coming up with her own tough combinations. She's got to do it early in the rally. She's got to start getting big first serves and right away that first shot taking control. for Anna to hold here and not fall two breaks down. 30 all. Some good serving of her own. Really reaches up, uses her legs well on her serve, Anna. She looks at the ball throughout. Let's go down to Pam Schreiber. Well, you know, it's funny, through uh, Love 3, Love 30, I had this flashback to last year's final when Serena started off like a house of fire against Maria Sharapova, and I had never seen Serena start a match like that. I kind of felt the same way about Maria through the first three and a half games. Now, of course, a little different story that she's held serve. You can see how similar their time's on court, but look at the differential. Plus 40 for Sharapova. That is outstanding for such a big hitter, and break point saved. Anna's been stubborn, but she's faced an awful lot of them. over the net cord. A bit too delicate, but it worked. And when you're hitting big and when you're penetrating the court, you can hit this drop shot because Justine's going to be looking to defend. Seventy degree day. Almost throughout. Here in the south of Australia. Mm. Nothing you can do about that. A solid second serve and just ripping this backhand cross court with authority. This is how she beat Anna a couple of years ago at the US Open. Sideline, yeah. Uh, Justine Anna is going Justine to challenge. Challenging the ball on the left. But it sure looked line. like it skidded. The ball was called in. Worth a try, and if nothing else, a chance to grab some air. Yep. That early preview looked as if it hit the line, didn't it? Sure did. Forty 
This one has two challenges remaining. Three challenges per set. Uh, an extra challenge should a set go to a tiebreak. Three incorrect challenges. You can challenge ten times if you're right every time. Anna and Sharapova played here two years ago in the semifinal, and it was 6 4 in the third for Anna. And after that match, Sharapova said, I didn't feel I was strong enough. I, I, I wasn't fit enough to last and to play the way I wanted to at the end. She said it's been such a big difference now. She feels that she can last, that she's strong. And her serve, and is it? Her ground game has been all of that mighty strong. 4-1 lead. The winner of this match in the semifinals will face Yelena Yankovic, number three seed, defeating Serena Williams in straight sets this afternoon. Disappointing was Serena Williams. The fans curious as to just what was going on with her. She was even angry in the warm-up, uh, slamming her racket. We still don't know the answer to that. And then as you saw as we began our telecast tonight, Serena and Venus losing in doubles. To Yan and Jing, number six seeds from China. Had quite a cheering section out there in Margaret Court, did the Chinese. to her first semi-final in Australia. She's been to the semi of the U.S. Open and the French Open. And on the bottom half, Venus Williams in the doubles had a heavy wrap on her thigh. One wonders how fit she'll be tomorrow. And she faces the other serve, the fourth seed, Anna Ivanovic. Spirited rally and Sharapova prevails again. Well, one of the tactics for Enno is to keep the ball and up the middle. And I'm not so sure that's going to be working today because Maria is striking it so well, so powerfully. I think Justine needs to get her moving. She needs to use the angles. 81 miles per hour backhand. I, I do think she should avoid Maria's backhand more. See if she makes that adjustment. Let's face it, if anyone can make adjustments, it's this woman, Justine Enna. She really can play several different game plans. She can come to net a lot more. She can, as her coach wants, go down the line more than cross court. And will she figure this out? This may not be a problem she can solve if Sheriff Hoga keeps this up. her second double fault. Carlos Rodriguez, longtime coach, over 12 years now they've been together. Anna, more of a struggle in her service games and was broken in her first game. Had deuce now. <laughs> 